Good morning, friends. Coach Bob here, and today we are going to have a different kind of episode. We, as you know, recently got the Freedom Trailer, which has been working out absolutely fantastic. We love it. It's made our life so much easier. So with that in mind, we had to identify the problems that were associated with the wheelchair, the amount of damage it can do. The bottom of the trailer is made of a I guess it's a fiberglass. It almost feels like a molded plastic, though. And the uh, I'll show you the wheels and what we're dealing with. Also, on the wheelchair itself, there is a, uh, a little hub that the axle shoves within to lock the wheel onto the wheelchair. And as that piece sticks out when you put that wheelchair in there, it digs down in there. And so there are, there are a lot of things. So what we wanted to do first was put the padding material with no carpet of any kind down there to see exactly how much damage the wheelchair was going to do to the bottom of this to see if maybe we were going to need something either heavier or maybe we could go with something lighter. And what we've decided to use is going to work well. So you're going to see parts one and two. They're both short little things. If you have a Freedom Trailer and you're worried about damaging the inside of it, this is a great video for you. If you have a Freedom Trailer and you just want to protect it, simply because you want to protect your investment. This is also a great episode for you. And if you're interested in DIY stuff, which I always am, <laughs> it's going to be a good video for you as well. So sit back, grab a cup of coffee, let's identify some problems and fix them. Before we get started on this video, if you would take this opportunity to like this video, to share it and subscribe to the channel. Now, without further ado, here we go. Right there is a case hardened steel axle. And when that thing falls and slides, it gouges things. I've seen some pretty durable things destroyed by those axles. Uh, certainly big gashes cut into things. So I have to come up with something that's a little more protective. I've got this, this is some old flooring that I've used in my garage when me and the kids used to wrestle, work out. It is about a half inch thick. So what I'm thinking about doing is the section of the floor that I will have the wheels, uh, I'll have this down over the floor and secure it down with some double face Velcro tape. And I'm gonna do a little cutting. We'll see how that works. Step one, we're gonna take these uh, little pieces off here. It'll look like in the front, if I left just a couple on, this section would fit pretty much just a moment. You can see where I'm going with this, but that right there, two pieces will pretty much, I mean, this stuff, like I said, it will give me, I don't know, half an inch. That might work. Just take a smidgen off. Oh yes. All right, so this is what the interior looks like with the padding in there now. Uh, I will be gluing these little pieces together so that nothing comes apart. And then I'll probably get like a Henry's floor adhesive and put a very thin indoor outdoor carpet on top of that. Or at least that is the plan as of now. Today, we are going to finish up the inside of the trailer. Let me get this garage organized and moved around, get things straightened up, getting started. I'm glad there is no sniffometer on this camera because apparently <laughs> we left a takeout box in there <laughs> from when we went to Daytona. Well, pretty good in there. Word of the wise, whenever you start moving things around, make sure you unplug your battery tender. That's kind of smart. Unlike me, I'm not that bright sometimes. This is the inside of the trailer. Now, one of the things that I was talking about, the axles and stuff on Coach Vic's wheelchair, you can see right in here, 
it can do significant damage. Um, and this would have been really, really gouged in the trailer had we uh, not put this material down here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go through this and I'm gonna mark everything because when I take it out, it may come apart. Um, so I'm just gonna do this right here. I'll do like a line here and a line there, right? I know that goes there. These right here, um, I'm just gonna put an A, a B. Boy, let's tell you what, my handwriting, my handwriting is somewhat atrocious. I'm gonna get this out. I'm gonna get a piece of carpet. I'm gonna cut it to fit the bottom of this. I'm gonna glue this together basically with a spray adhesive. And then I'm gonna put the uh, carpet on top of that. That should hold everything in place. Then I am going to take, I was gonna take some double Velcro tape down there at the bottom. That's really not moving enough to really be an issue. It's not moving because this is, you know, a, a thick material. So it's not sliding around or moving. You see where I'm going here. This is gonna be covered in carpet and I got some uh, spray adhesive to uh, secure all that together. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm a little uptight because that's how I'm wrapped. I want the pile or the lines here to go front to back. Basically, I'm gonna do a rough cut on it, make sure I have plenty, and then I'm gonna take it over to the uh, trailer itself and trim off the edges with a razor knife and get it all cleaned up and pretty. See where I'm going here and let's hope that it works out well. So what I'm getting ready to do now is measure uh, the widest part of the trailer. That is the width that I am going to cut the material. Then I will measure the longest part of the interior dimension of the trailer and that's how long I'll cut it. And uh, then once I get it, I'll flip it upside down. I'll trace the edges with a Sharpie and the rest should be history. So I'm measuring here the widest part wall to wall and that is 29 inches there. This is the widest point, this outer edge, this little cutout. And I do want to shape around there and that is 33 and a piece. And so I'm going to cut 36 inches front to back. So I'm gonna go a little bit up on that lip, even though I don't plan on going there, but the, the width of the material will. So that is 49 inches by 51, 36 by 51. Coach Vic hates it when I use her Cutco scissors, therefore I'm using <laughs> Cutco scissors. <laughs> so am I gonna go longer than 51? Maybe. Am I gonna go shorter than 51? Definitely not. I'm gonna actually just cut 54, have a little bit extra. Give me a straight edge. The rule of the carpenter, measure twice, cut once, right? Notice that I am using a silver Sharpie. That way I can see it along the back of this material. So there's that. Now, we're gonna start there, go to 36. Which is, woo. 36. 36. Now we have a big piece, a big rectangle. Now you see why I marked all my pieces. Let's cut it. All right, let's see what we have. I'm gonna flip this upside down. These are narrow spots here. What I'll do is I will just uh, start getting a Sharpie and notching things out and getting them cut. So just a few minutes of trimming, maybe five minutes, maybe. This is what I've got so far. You can see right along the edge, just perfectly shaped. And that's my goal all the way around to the front. And once I get that done, I'll flip it over, glue it to the material out there, and it should look okay. I am a little over halfway. I have a little bit of symmetry now. So I'm gonna bifold it, use that as my cutting line. I finished that other corner over there. You can see there was my silver line. That was where the bottom edge is. 
gonna try to follow that line all the way across, trying to account for the thickness of the material. So now you can see it fits quite nicely in here. So now it's time to get the material, uh, put a little glue on that, put a little glue on the carpet face. Then I'll lay the material down in there after the glue is sprayed on the top of it, not on the bottom of it. The glue will be sprayed on the bottom of the carpet and the top of the material and that should give me some good adhesion. Then the piece will free float, so I should be able to just lift it out of here uh, when the time comes and this thing starts to tear up and get beat up, because with the wheelchair, it will get destroyed and we anticipate that. So let's do a little cleaning and a little gluing. So this is the part that will touch the backing of the carpet. And you can see I've got all my pieces back in place. I had a few things come off. I'm not worrying about it being meticulously clean. It is pretty warm, I will tell you that. It's out in the sun. The temperature is probably, I'm guessing 90 degrees out here. So it's gonna set up pretty quick. That's okay because I'm gonna spray the carpet as well. And between the two, I should, like I said, I should have a superior adhesion. coated pretty nicely there. Let's get a little bit around this edges. I'm gonna take this, put it in the can am. You know, clean this up just a smidgen first. This is where uh, my son makes fun of me. He always says, nobody's gonna see that, nobody will know, uh, but I will. <laughs> Not looking for perfection, just exceptional. All right. But all I'm looking for here is this to be a little bit tacky, and it is. Feel my hand sticking to it. Always using a well ventilated area. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're not spraying on the carpet side. Simply take this, and there's what it looks like. Secured to the material under it. That's what I was looking for. That'll sit for an hour or two and when I pull it out, it'll come out in one big piece. I can take a vacuum cleaner and just vacuum it. Clean under it, there you have it. Had to throw everything to the side there for a minute because uh, the, uh, it, it was wanting to adhere so, uh, so strongly and so quickly. So there you have it. A simple installation that makes things look better, work better, and be better. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share this with your friends. The channel's growing, and we love bringing you quality content. So remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. So do me a favor, go out, eat right, take care of yourself, and you know, seize the day, baby. We'll see you soon.